Sahara is often referred to as Africa's last colony. Do you agree with that? Do you think that the Sahara is indeed the last colony in Africa? Thank you for the question. The assumption that the Sahara is the last colony in Africa is without substance and derives from ignorance. This misconception lacks legal, historical and political foundation. It is completely at odds with the reality as established at the United Nations that exclusively deals with this regional dispute. Let's not forget that at the legal level there are around 70 resolutions of the UN Security Council and 120 reports of the UN Secretary General on this dispute. None of them ever referred to Morocco as an occupying power nor do they refer to the Sahara as a colony or an occupied territory. The systematic reference to, those, to the so-called occupation is totally inaccurate and represents a political and an ideological opinion with no legal basis. Let's be clear. From a historical perspective, prior to the colonial era, the Sahara has always been a part of Morocco. Several bilateral treaties signed in the 18th and in the 19th centuries attest to this reality. The International Court of Justice recognized unanimously on October 1975 the existence of bonds of allegiance between the kings of Morocco and the tribes living in the territory. For more than 12 centuries, Morocco was a fully sovereign and independent nation prior to its occupation by different European powers, namely France at the center of Morocco, Spain at the north and at the south, and Tangier, which was an international zone. So Morocco itself was colonized and it of course remained a colony until 1956. Could you take me through the decolonization process of Morocco and how that was undertaken? Well, uh, the decolonization process was exceptional and achieved gradually through negotiations that led to the independence of Morocco in 1956. It is to be recalled that in June 1962, Morocco addressed an official requ request to the UN Decolonization Committee calling on Spain to start peaceful negotiations over the remaining territories of Sidi Ifni and the Sahara. No other country objected to the Moroccan claim and this was before the creation of the separatist armed group of Polisario. And as a matter of fact, Morocco was finally able to recuperate in 1969 Sidi Ifni and subsequently the Sahara in 1975 through the Madrid Agreement which is today registered within the United Nations. The retrocession of these territories to Morocco was the result of negotiations with Spain that are well documented and that fully dismiss the myth of the last colony in Africa. Would you say that the Sahara is a decolonization issue? Not at all. The regional dispute over the Sahara is not about decolonization, but about the territorial integrity of Morocco. You cannot decolonize what is not a colony. So those who falsely claim that Morocco is a colonizer are also attempting to rewrite history. I would like you to consider this few historical facts that highlights the role of Morocco in the fight against colonization and apartheid in Africa. One, it is Morocco that hosted in 1960 the famous Conference of Casablanca attended by leaders of the liberation movement such as King Mohammed V of Morocco, the President Nkrumah of Ghana, Modi Keita of Mali and Ahmed Sekouturi of Guinea. These are the founding fathers of the Organization of the African Unity. Two, it is Morocco that also hosted in April 1961 the Conference of Support to the Liberation Movement of the Territories under Portuguese colonization. Three, it was from Morocco that the huge solidarity movement was launched to uh, uh, support 
the uh, neighboring Algeria struggle for independence. And four, it is Morocco, among other countries, that provided Nelson Mandela with assistance, training, funds and weapons to support the ANC armed struggle against apartheid.